Hey there, welcome to Concept Hunter. Today we're going to talk about Color UID or Coloroid, which does something you've seen a million times before. It's by Games Hero, by the way. But it does it, the presentation is kind of nice. I liked it. And I do enjoy these type of games when the presentation is good. Uh, I enjoy the puzzle element of it. What I don't like is when there's too much and there's like 15,000 moves and it's just like going through the motions. In this game, they're really just focused on the puzzle. And it's every, every level isn't a million different um, actions, a, a different swaps of color. It's a very specific number and you just have to figure it out what's the solution. And because of that I kind of liked it. So let's just get started and see what this game does. It's pretty simple if you haven't gotten it yet uh, from my explanation. There are different colors. You pick a color at the bottom of the screen, you click it, and that area will change. And clearly it'll encapsulate everything else that's in that color, and so you go on and on with the few moves that you have in order to get the, the same color for the entire screen. That was level one. This is level two. We have two swaps in this case. I could swap this and then I could swap this. And now everything is green and we're done. I could also do it in this specific case. I could also do it the other way around. I could turn the green areas into red. But this is just really these two levels are just a tutorial in order to explain how the game works. And now we start thinking about puzzles. Now this is a level where you could actually sort of fail, I feel. You could also fail on the other levels. And this is one of the interesting parts um, of one thing that I don't like. In terms of progression, it's not a huge deal in this game because it kind of makes sense not to do it. But I could pick blue, which for this specific level will most certainly be the wrong choice. And it makes a lot of sense for me to not show all colors, only show the colors that are relevant. In this case, only show the four colors that are relevant for this specific level you pretty quickly reach levels where there's all the colors, so it's not huge deal. But for level one, having all these random colors, you could lose at level one, you could lose at the tutorial where it's super obvious. You have to be trying to lose, sort of, but it's possible. And that's why th there's no need to show all of the colors if you can't use them and there's no need to use them. Another issue that you can actually see pretty quickly, um, even in this level, but mostly in, in other levels, so we could just actually uh, start finishing this one. I think this will kind of do it and then we'll turn everything green and then we'll turn everything red and we should be good unless I screwed up. I did not. The UI is on top of everything and that is my biggest gripe with this game. Why is the UI on top of everything? The, 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 you could actually see it right here. This is one of the big um, offenders of this case. There's a tiny little yellow spot here which is very relevant for this level. If I miss that, I will lose the level because of it. And you kind of can't see that. Or even while you're thinking about everything else, you're thinking about your eyes are kind of focusing on this line where you see most of the colors and where most of your swaps will be. These two spots of, of yellow won't really register because they're completely hidden by all of this. And that is, that is really bad. If you could, I know you kind of wanted to have it exactly square, and this is exactly a square, but you can make it a little bit bigger and have the UI not affect the gameplay area. And I feel that's really important in a place where, especially in this specific type of level, because look at this, this is, you'll miss this. I know you'll miss this, and I will too. But it is a really fun game, and it is, it, it's, it's a brain teaser. It's a good puzzler where you kind of try try to think about it. There's one more gripe that I have with this game, and that's when, when I want to change a color. I don't know if this is a solution. I'm just clicking something to show you. Let's say I looked at the level, and because there's only like three, four, five, maybe six different moves that I'm going to do at all, I just want to, I, I, I got it. I unlocked it. And I said, oh, this is what I should do, and then this, and then this. Especially if I screw up and I restart the level, maybe I already know what I want to do. And at that instance, when I click, I have to wait. Whenever you click, you have to wait until the color completely fills up, and this is an animation that takes time. It's a cool animation, but it takes time, and it could be annoying that it takes that amount of time. And so I think this, I actually got this. Yeah, I got this. And in the, that amount of time, you have to wait. For now, for example, once you're close to the ending of the level, as in the last two swaps that I did, I know the solution, I just want to get it done with, and uh, I have to wait for... Okay, now the level is done. Uh, that could be a little bit faster. I understand the cool part that, that the tech is nice when it comes up, but it's uh, a little bit annoying that you have to wait for it. 
Aside from that, it's a good game. It's a good puzzler game. I haven't finished it, as you can see, uh, when I picked the level, and I probably will because it's fun and I enjoy puzzle games. Uh, but yeah, it's called Call Your ID. It's by... The, there's only a sponsor. I couldn't really see who made the game other than the sponsor, which is Games Hero. So Games Hero, I guess. Uh, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching Concept Hard, and I'll see you guys next time.